Hey everybody, welcome back to The Way of Ramen. Today we'll be making a very simple shio ramen with the recipe that I found on Cookpad. So it says, Cho kantan, mazeru dake, double soup shio ramen, which is basically super simple, just mix it, shio ramen. Um, it says like seven ingredients, but the interesting thing is the tsukurepo section, which is where people post their pictures of their version of the recipe, it has over 100 people that said it's really good. So let's give it a shot today. I mean, some of the comments that people are leaving is really good. So let's see how it turns out. So the ingredients for the soup is very simple. Chicken stock powder, sesame oil, shiro dashi. This one might be kind of hard to find. Kosher salt, sesame seeds, and boiling water. For the toppings, I'm using green onions, an egg, and some spinach. Of course, you need your ramen noodles to make ramen. So let's get some water boiling for the spinach and the egg. And while it's boiling, let's go over the basics of ramen and see why this recipe is pretty interesting actually. So ramen consists of five components, the soup, the noodles, the toppings, the tare, and the oil. So tare is basically all of the flavorings of the soup. It's very salty, you add that and then you add like a broth to it. And oil, all ramen has some sort of oil in it. A lot of times it's chicken oil, it could be um, fat back from pork, but it's always in there. So this recipe tries to hit all five of those things because you're using shiro dashi and salt for the shio tare, you're using chicken powder to make a chicken stock, and you're using sesame oil for the oil component or the fat component of the ramen. So it should be pretty interesting to see how this comes out because it's covering the basis of a basic ramen, it just in a very um, quick and easy way without boiling things for hours and hours. So we have the water boiling now. We're gonna put in our egg. We're gonna poke a small hole in the bottom of the egg with this egg hole poker tool. And then we're gonna drop it in and boil it for seven minutes. You wanna put an egg straight from the refrigerator into boiling water. And you don't wanna put it in cold water and boil it. If you do it like this, seven minutes with the hole at the bottom, it'll come out perfect every single time. So you take it out and as soon as it's out, put it into an ice bath. And in the same water, you're just gonna throw in the spinach. We just wanna blanch it. My wife doesn't like when I do this because she thinks it's gross, but it's just for me, so I'm gonna do it. We're not gonna cook it for that long, just for a couple of seconds. We're gonna take it out, cool it down in an ice bath, just like the egg. And then we're gonna squeeze it out later and make, make it look nice. So now let's get the water boiling for the soup and the noodles. You want enough water in there to take out like around 400 milliliters of water and still have enough water in there to do your noodles because you're gonna be doing double duty with this water that's boiling. So while the water is boiling, let's get some toppings going, I'm cutting up the green onions. This knife is super sharp, I'm kind of afraid of it. Peeling the egg. And I'm squeezing out the spinach. You know, spinach is a pretty popular topping for ramen in Japan, but I don't really see it too much in America. It's actually really good, so if you've never tried it before, definitely give it a try. So now let's get the shio dare going. So you're gonna put the chicken powder in, one tablespoon of shiro dashi. It's very strong, it's like a bonito flavor, tons of umami. Sesame oil in, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of sesame seeds. To that mixture, you're gonna be adding around 400 milliliters of boiling hot water. You can start at 400 and if it's too salty, you can add a little bit more. 
and that's basically your soup. All of the components of a ramen soup is in there. You have tare, soup, oil. Now all that's left is the noodles and the toppings. So we're gonna put in some noodles. These are the homemade noodles I made in the other video. And they actually aren't that good anymore. This is, this is two days after I made them in the first video. And I actually had, you could start up to five days in the first video, that was wrong. So I changed it to start up to two days. This is two days. These noodles are nowhere near as good as they were the first day. So my recommendation is if you make noodles in the way that I have in the first video, you just use them right away in the first day because they were awesome the first day. And in this day, they were just okay. We're gonna strain our noodles well, and then we're gonna dump this into the soup and put the toppings on and start eating. technique to make your noodles look nice. You just lift it up and you put it right back in. This is chashu I tried to make in the microwave. I thought I'm making a super fast shio ramen. Let's try to make a super fast chashu. I found the recipe for it. It's terrible. Don't make chashu in the microwave. And some green onion. And there we have it. Cho kantan mazero dake. Double soup shio ramen. So for what this ramen is, a seven ingredient super fast ramen, it's actually not that bad. You should give it a try if you're interested in just seeing what a really basic ramen might taste like. Just don't make microwave chashu. And use fresh noodles. This is the ramen I made, the exact same recipe, just with fresher noodles the first day that I made the noodles. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.